So cancer, you know, this person succumbed to uh, peer pressure. That's, that's, that's what caused them to behave like that. They just couldn't handle or stand up to those that were around them. Uh, so let's start your reading. I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for February. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is timestamp. So uh, this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. Okay, as I always say, please just uh, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, and of course, if I don't pick up on your story, if this isn't your story, you can always just stick around as sometimes there uh, could be just messages throughout that jump out and speak to you and of course just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality so just give me a moment to just lay these cards take them in and i'll be back so cancer let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up is this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so just looking at the past, there seems to be, this is interesting because it seems to be, and we'll start with you, we'll start with you. It seems that you had to you go into some form of isolation. And when I say that, I don't mean it in a sense of you kind of being abolished or, you know, gone off somewhere. Maybe... Um, you felt abandoned, which caused you to go into this hermit space where you went within in search for answers. Um, it's that type of thing. I feel like it has a lot to do with this person and maybe some form of victory, uh, just looking at their cards, because they're coming up as the six. They're, this is the past. They're coming up as the six, and there's some form of victory or success that this person has achieved. And it's like they've been cheered on by the peanut galleries. Could be a victory that is on display for those to see. Could be a victory that it's like a victory that others can see, others can witness. Maybe that's what's plumped you into this hermit space where you've gone deep within. You're kind of doing some self-reflection. Um, and there is this sense of maybe frustration as well, frustration around that for you in some way shape or form like i said i feel like it strongly ties to this victory that this person has achieved or has had in relation to this but there's a there's a twist to this because as much as they've achieved this victory as much as they've on the surface um you know gained some form of success when it comes to this maybe it's an action that was taken or something along the lines anyway they've kind of gain this victory or this success on the surface, but internally they're, they're kind of distraught. And that's the, the contradiction. It's like, yes, on the surface for all to see, I, it seems like I'm, I'm portraying myself to be this or I'm portraying this type of thing because it looks good, it's meant to be, but on the inside I'm distraught actually about this. They're not happy, they're feeling, you know, distraught about, about this which kind of makes sense as to where the current connection is now, which is this loss. There's a maybe an ending that has happened. This caused an ending, oh, just a loss. There's a feeling of a loss when it comes to this, like we've lost something. Yeah, that's not a, a nice feeling. Um, yeah, which has caused this person to be confused. There's confusion there, but we'll get to them in a minute. For you, it's like, I feel like for a lot of you, you see, you see what's going on. You see that this person 
is you know playing up to the audience is this person is playing up to the peanut gallery this person is it's like I know the deal you know the deal we both know what's going on here um and that's toxic within itself because you both understand the type of connection and relationship that you both had no one else experiences that no one else knows the depth of that but it's like so it's like you're false you're not acting you're not acting real you're not you're, you're kind of fake this is not real and you're seeing that as a toxic trait you're seeing that as not a good thing there's judgment around that for you so it's like you're kind of finding it quite difficult to maybe get your head around that with the with the five of wands this is in your challenge position so it's like trying to find find it quite difficult to get my head around that you know it's like what is this what what is what what is this relationship what is this connection who am i to you for you to portray this to be something that it's not it's that type of thing finding it quite difficult as well cancer to you know think positive about this think positive about this and i guess that comes from the understanding because just based on how they're showing up like i said there's confusion there for them so just based on that there is this understanding that you know especially if this is resonating with you this this there's an understanding of this person not being maybe strong enough or secure enough or uh, for whatever reason they've decided to portray a certain exterior to the public um and they was unable to i don't know maybe they succumb to peer, peer pressure or succumb to yeah some form of outside in, external influence which caused them to the to behave in that way but you're not feeling it um and that's causing you to kind of not you know think negatively think negatively about this be a bit pessimist pessimistic regarding this person regarding this person <laughs> and it's funny because their challenge is denying which talks about happiness and emotional happiness this person's put themselves in this situation if i'm honest with you can so they put themselves there they know what was at stake they know what the real uh, deal was when it came to this or what the real deal is ultimately because you're both very much still energetically connected regardless of what's going on but that's their challenge it's like how do i get my happiness back <laughs> you know you know you play with fire you're gonna get burned as as my mum would say so you know finding the strength finding standing in their power i feel like i'm gonna go back to this peer pressure for some of you this could be the case there's a lot of peer pressure for this person which because of the challenges is standing in their power you know the emperor talks about authority dominance in control standing in one's power owning it embracing it and that's their challenge being able to do that and that's preventing them from be moving into this happiness emotional happiness space with you when it comes to this connection yeah what's that this is in your want is that you doing a bit of spying or sneaking off or what is what is that but whatever that is is to do with a change that you're wanting to happen or or um we've got the four the four which talks about holding back some of you could want to just kind of gain some more information <laughs> this could be sneaking it's a very sneaky card this seven of swords so you could be wanting to gain some information but not letting anyone know not revealing that you're doing that or that simply could be you know you just being what's the word i'm looking for not hidden um protect not even so much protective but just being um when it comes to what you're thinking what you're truly thinking there's something around you dishonest about what you're truly thinking could be that as well but this person <laughs> They want to fix this. They want to fix this. They cause this. I don't feel like you you need to give this person too much of a hard time. Simply because, and hear me out, okay, Cancer, hear me out. Simply because this person 
succumb to peer pressure. I don't feel like they was in a strong enough place. Let me just grab that card. A strong enough place to, you know, combat that. Let's say that. Was it in a strong enough place to combat that? At all. At all. Maybe it's their, you know, maybe older relatives or whatever the case may be, yeah. So there definitely wasn't in the place to, to combat that. Usually at this point of the reader, we move into part two, get a fuller picture and see where this moves to. Uh, we, look at, uh, we look at the next step that you both take and then, of course, the new reality that emerges from that. But I will be implementing that in the next few weeks, guys, so look out for that. As it stands, don't be so hard on this person just in terms of their actions. We know it was silly. We know, you know, all of that stuff. But just... Take, let's, let me say this, just, just take into consideration that they, you know, was under a bit of peer pressure or pressure from outsiders um, and they just didn't have the strength to be able to stand up to that, which kind of, of course, had a cost. Um, yeah. So hopefully this gave you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you next week.